It's smartphone tank versus screwdriver in today's episode of the Mammoth Tech Show. In a previous episode of the show, we looked at the Big Track Rover, or Yobot, as this variant is named. So now let's look at what makes it tick on the inside. Let's start things off simple by taking off the battery bay door, and yes, it's one of those annoying screw shut doors. And now let's attack those funky caterpillar tracks. And with the track off, we can see the toothed rear drive wheel. And now on to the more important screws. First, the obvious one at the back, then one tucked in the bottom corner of the battery bay, and then one sneakily hidden under one of the negative terminal springs. And now we can get to the insides of our little robot. Under the top we find a mysterious plastic mechanism, a spring and a small circuit board. The spring is attached to the clamp at the top which keeps your phone in place. So let's just disarm that spring clamp. And with some gentle persuasion, we can remove the clamp. This allows us to see the light sensors that read the flashing signals generated by the app on your phone screen. Underneath we find the top of that plastic mechanism, which is clearly there to detect the presence of a phone. So let's start pulling this apart. First the top screw, and then the bottom. And the little circuit board in the middle reveals a little pressure switch, so that must explain the lack of a manual on-off switch on the outside of the machine. Judging by the amount of wires going in here, the brains of the beast appear to be behind this panel, so let's have it off. Which reveals the rather spartan main control board, the main feature of which are these two small chips marked CST117. A little investigation shows these are 8-bit CMOS microcontrollers. And now we can remove the front plate and feed that main control board down through the slot. And so this is all the poor little Yobot has to show as far as grey matter is concerned, so let's turn our attention to locomotion. Here we have the two drive units and a lot of screws, so let's get rid of them. This one, 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 and this one at the end. We can now take the top part of the drive unit with its tiny motor attached to reveal the gearing underneath. Now we'll just wrestle that gear unit free. And there you have it. Look at all those little gears go. I'll just quickly remove those cogs. And that's it, we've completely demolished our Yobot. I hope you've enjoyed this little trip into electromechanical inner space with us. I've been Jeff Birch, this has been the Mammoth Tech Show, and you've been very kind to watch. Thank you very much. Oh.